Hello, welcome to this ELC video. Today, we're going to cover introductions and conclusions for problem solution essays. Okay, introductions and conclusions are very important for effective essays. You want to start with a clear introduction and end with a convincing conclusion. The introduction will lead your reader into the main text and the conclusion will leave your reader with a positive final impression. So you want to start well and finish well and make sure you have a good middle in your essay. Then overall you will get a good grade. OK, let's look at assessment 2, the essay structure. You need to write around 900 to 1000 words. The introduction would be around 10 to 15 percent of your essay, the main body 70 to 80 percent and the conclusion around 10 to 15 percent. So the introduction would be around 100 to 150 words, the body paragraph would be up to 800 words in total and the conclusion around 100 to 150 words. It looks a little bit like a burger and all parts are important. If there's no top or bottom, your burger will fall apart and it's the same with an essay. Make sure you have an effective introduction and conclusion. OK, so let's look at an example question. The problem solution question is about chocolate. Chocolate is a popular food type in our daily diet and its consumption Consumption means eating. Its consumption is widely promoted. The question then asks you to discuss the problems that chocolate causes and some possible solutions. OK, so first pause the video and think about some of the problems that eating chocolate causes. Right, so for the introduction we recommend that you use the what, why and how structure. This is a good structure to follow for all your essays, including problem-solution essays. So the what part is background information about the issue. The why part? Why is the issue's importance? Introduce some of the problems caused by eating chocolate. And for the how, in the how part you need to give an outline of how you're going to write the essay, the structure of the essay. OK, so that's the what, why and how introduction and we strongly recommend you follow this structure. OK, so let's look at a sample introduction for this problem solution essay about chocolate. So this introduction is divided into the what, why and how parts. The general opening, the what, is in blue. The debate over whether chocolate should be a part of people's diet has developed greatly over recent years. It tells us then that in the past only the wealthy ate chocolate as it was a luxury product so its negative effects were limited. So it's giving us some background information. Next we have the why part in green. So now many more people eat chocolate and it has many negative health effects. There is a hint at a possible solution, restricting it. And the writer also mentions some positive impacts that might be part of the solution. OK, the final part is the how and that's in purple. That's the outline of the essay. It tells the reader how you're going to write the essay. In total, it's 128 words. This introduction is fine. It's something you can adapt for your own essays. Next, conclusions. So remember, conclusions are often around 10 to 15% of the essay length. In your conclusion, you should briefly summarize the main points of your essay and then have a call for action. You can also mention which solutions you think are most feasible if you think that's appropriate. Here's a sample conclusion. It's using the problem solution essay on chocolate. It's color coded into different parts, so it starts with the signaling of the conclusion. It's important to signal your conclusion for the reader. This essay has discussed impact and possible solutions. 
Next, in purple, we have a summary of the main body. The health problems, the chocolate causes, and that it can also be very dangerous if you give it to your pet. Some positive impacts are also mentioned. Then, in green, it's the final part, the call for action. It's very important to include this in your essay, so here the writer says that they recommend that high-quality chocolate be used and eaten in appropriate quantities. That's a sample conclusion, around 140 words, that you can adapt for your own essay. We will end this video with a recommendation for another video. Our colleague B made a very good video about problem solution essays. Please, please do watch that video. And there's also online material about introductions and conclusions. Looking at the material will help you write a better essay. OK, that's it from me. Remember, as always, enjoy your time at PolyU.